Welcome to the Simplifier Podcast, where we turn complexity into clarity. I'm your host, Daniel. Uh, the Simplifier Podcast is brought to you in partnership with TechPon. Our mission with this podcast is to support SaaS founders in connecting with their audience using the right message. Our guest for today is Rares Toma, the founder of Lupel. Welcome, Rares. It's a pleasure to have you on the podcast. Welcome, Daniel. I'm happy to be here. Great. Uh, before we start, please tell us who is Rares Toma and what drives you. Okay, so at the base, I'm a web developer with over seven years of experience. Uh, I was also passionate about startups. I've had a few. Uh, I started the first one at uh, 16 years old. And now I'm working with uh, Loophole, that is basically a template builder for developers that aims to help developers build faster their applications. Uh, okay. How old are you now? You said that the first startup was at 16 years old. How old are you now? 27. 27. Oh, yeah. you started early. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. So, Lupal, I understand it's a tool for, for developers that uh, helps web developers to build uh, site, websites faster. Yeah, so basically, uh, the developer had to have first a template, basically a design for each dashboard or website. So with Lupal, uh, he has to, to drag and drop the components into the screen, then download the template and after that connect with their uh, sources, like the database, uh, mail, uh, client and so on. Mm-hmm. Okay, so it's basically a tool that helps them build websites faster. Exactly, yeah. Mm-hmm. I understand. Um, what are the, the challenges you're facing in communicating with them, with, the, with your audience? And how do you communicate with them right now? How do you get to your clients? Okay, so uh, the, the customers I get are from SEO. So I, uh, I work on SEO since 2022 uh, on blog posts, uh, different strategies like free tools to, to gain traffic. Uh, so uh, there is where the, the, the most users come from um, and uh, for, for each user I try to contact them via email and ask them for, uh, for feedback and uh, what features they would like to, to have. So based on that I, uh, I build features on, on the poll. Mm-hmm. How many users do you currently have? How many uh, people are using Lupal? Uh, 12,000 uh, people right now. Uh, I mean, 11,000 and 800, something like this. Nice, nice. But not, and, uh, not paid users, just, uh, just users. And just to make sure that I understand, uh, this is a tool for technical people or, for example, a guy like me who doesn't have technical skills can also use Lupal to build his website. His uh, website. No, just, just technical, uh, technical people because uh, you can build just your front end. Uh, after you build your front end, you have to integrate it uh, by your own with, uh, with your data. Mm-hmm. Okay, so it's a tool dedicated only for technical people. Exactly, yeah. Okay, I understand. Okay, thank you for sharing this. Um, what uh, I would like to invite you to do now, so the the... the the goal of this meeting today is to see how how we can how how can I help you to to improve maybe the the messaging on your website. Yeah. So I would uh, I would invite you to go to your website. I will I will share my screen right now. Okay. And. Uh, uh, please tell me if you can. Can you see your website? Yes. yes. Okay. okay. You can see the website. Okay. So let's see what we have on the website. You said um, you said your target audience uh, is web developers, basically only technical people. So yep. um, if we see now uh, the website, we have this hero section. And we, we see this headline, template builder for modern websites and dashboards. 
so uh, it makes me question uh, what are these people doing more with Drupal? They build websites or uh, they build dashboards? Uh, currently, they are building more dashboards. I think this is because uh, the most SEO traffic is coming on the dashboard keyword. The most SEO traffic is coming on the dashboard. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, uh, can, do, do you have uh, a statistic? How many of uh, them are using, uh, the, are building dashboards and how many are building uh, uh, websites? Yeah, so 70% are building dashboards. 70% are, are, are building dashboards. Okay, so yeah. this gives you a very good suggestion. Maybe would be a good idea for you to focus on dashboards rather than mm -hmm. websites. Mm -hmm. Because if mm -hmm. this is what your audience is looking for, maybe this is what you should focus more on your communication. And then we have a code less, build more, Select your preferred design and create stunning templates in minutes using low code and drag and drop. Uh, I don't see anywhere here. So the idea is like this. Uh, the hero section, it's the first thing that people uh, see when they visit your mm -hmm. website. Um, and this should make crystal clear. This should, this should send a crystal clear message to them and answer to some questions that more or less everybody has when they uh, visit your website. What do you do? Okay, it, it's clear, what do you do? Who benefits from your offer? This is not clear, I cannot see uh, who is uh, the, the beneficiary of your offer. Why they've come into the right place? What key benefits do they get and what to do next? In other words, a clear call to action. So if you see, if you see your, uh, if, we're, if you're looking uh, at your headline right now, we have this template builder for modern websites, but would be great if the people are using this to build more dashboards. Maybe you should focus on dashboards. And I mm -hmm. would include web developers because it's important to send the, the clear message right from the start. This is a tool okay. for developers. Does it make sense? Yep. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay, and uh, if we are if we if we are looking to the call to action, we have this create project and try demo. Uh, I I just want to ask in my mind. I, I will tell you what's the first impression I have. Uh, if I, I I think if I try the demo in my mind uh, is I will also create the project. So I'm a bit puzzled. Okay. So, yeah. Makes sense. Uh, what? What is the difference between those two? Uh, yeah. Uh, so to be honest, there is no difference in terms of what you will get. So yes, if you create a project in both cases, the first one will just open a, a model with uh, all the teams available. But at the base, they'll, they'll do the same thing. Okay. So if they do the same thing, maybe it would be a good idea to keep only one call to action in mm -hmm. the hero section. Yeah. Uh, I'm not a fan of uh, uh, two call to actions in the mm -hmm. hero section. I'm not saying it's good or bad. There are a lot of people who are using the main call, the the, the main call to action, and the secondary call to action. Yeah. Uh, the reason is simple. It's good to give people two options, and uh, they think that maybe uh, they will, in the end, they will. Uh, they will choose one, but I prefer mm -hmm. focusing only on one action in the hero yep. section. It's just my personal opinion. I'm not saying it's bad or uh, it's good or bad to use two call to actions. But if these two are doing the same thing, if you, if you want to use two uh, call to actions, then they should be, uh, you know, different, not not yeah. Uh, yeah. not uh, doing the same thing. Mm -hmm. um, Makes sense. Okay, and. One way you can do, I'm not saying this should be the, the, the final version of this headline in the hero section. One way to, to rephrase this, maybe template builder for modern dashboards and website. You, you, you can focus yeah. first on dashboards and you can say something like um, web developers use Loopal to create stunning dashboards in minutes using local okay. and drag and drop 
and the focus will move to, to these dashboards because this is where uh, people are using Lupul the most. Yes. The idea is for you to, to analyze the data. If the data tells you that 70% of them are using the dashboards, then maybe the communication should focus on on yeah. this yeah. direction. Okay. So, um, uh, just one question. How how do you sell uh, Lupul? They they buy directly the the builder or they need to book a meeting and uh, you need to discuss with them and show them how the tool works they buy the, directly the the template uh, the the subscription and uh, for uh, support we have discord so we don't do the direct uh, meetings okay mm -hmm. so they 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 see basically the demo i see that you have a demo yeah. here yeah yeah uh, they they try it and once they try it they they buy it okay mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, I see you have a good social proof trusted by the world's best uh, leading companies I would uh, uh, I see this how it works uh, Lupal helps you build dashboards and website templates uh, it's very good to explain how it works but I would break this text in two paragraphs for better clarity it's uh, mm -hmm. it would be easier for people to to read it maybe mm -hmm. uh maybe if you if you break this into two pieces it would yeah. be easier for people also the formatting is very important the clarity but also the 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 formatting is very important then mm -hmm. i see this demo um again i it's right below the social proof uh, you may want to consider moving this demo here in the hero section why because <clears throat> and you can you can uh, change the order you can have the, the text in the left and in the right uh, offer the people the chance to see the demo uh, right from the second they visit the website mm -hmm. Uh, I, I see, I notice that when you give people the chance to see the demo right from the start, you will increase the, the numbers of, uh, the number of views for that specific okay. video. So you can try, you can do a test and see in the next, uh, uh, one week or two weeks, uh, how many, how many visits, how many clicks you have. Can you, can you check how many people, uh, press click here and see the demo? Uh, yes, I think I can check, but I'm not sure, uh, does it make with this year, but I don't remember my account, but from what I hey. remember, they were like, uh, I don't know, uh, three or five views per day on this video. Three People or five click. views per day. Yeah. You can try to move this here in the hero section and see if the number of views increases. Mm -hmm. if, mm -hmm. it, uh, if it doubles or triples, then I think it's something that would be super useful for you. Yeah, makes sense. And you, you want to, to keep it there. We have this, uh, okay, product hunt, 10,000 users that love us. Uh, you launched the product on, uh, on product hunt? Yes, yes, uh, two years and a half. Uh, ago and it was it, it went it went product of the day nice 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 yeah. nice uh we have these testimonials we used lupal to jumpstart a pilot with a quality user-friendly interface user-friendly i see two testimonials to user-friendly okay uh, do you have other testimonials from your clients yes yes i have more this user-friendly, uh, it's something that uh, everybody tends to mention in their testimonial? Uh, not very often. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, but, but I see now that they are uh, the same. Right? Um, if you have more testimonials, it would be a good idea to add more social proof, more testimonials. Mm -hmm. This is something that helps a lot when you want to build trust. With the nice. clients and also one thing you can do um the good companies so, or most of the companies they try to communicate using their own words 
The best companies they communicate using their clients' words. So okay. they take the testimonials, they take the message out from the testimonials, and they, uh, if the people are saying that uh, Lupul is a user friendly uh, tool, they use this user friendly in their future communication. So okay. it's a good idea to extract uh, the things that people are saying about Lupul and use them. Uh, in your communication, uh, mm -hmm. your future communication. Um, let's see what we have there. I see a lot of features. I see a lot of features, steps, how it works. Okay, gain back lost time. Choose your favorite framework and design. Step one, customize. Step two. Okay, we have this step two, customize your template. Um, you need to be aware that more than 90% of the users don't read the content, the content. Mm -hmm. they, they scan, uh, they scan the, the website. So, uh, it helps using less text in the homepage on the homepage. I mean, uh, and for example, this customize your template paragraph. I would, uh, I would make it short. I would make it half short. And you can you can rephrase it like uh, Lupal offers a range of user friendly features for your projects. Whether you're a novice or an expert, we got you covered. So this okay. should be okay. enough for the home page. But uh, yes, it's what you mentioned here is super super important. But you can offer all these details on the product page. So okay, what? Makes sense. Yeah. to keep the home page as clean as possible and to send uh, clear and uh, short messages for people to mm -hmm. understand faster um yeah. download your code okay a lot a lot of features i see this uh, i saw this this is very cool i i i really like this uh, this tool what I would do, this is very, this creates a, a, a very big impact. Can you see how many people are playing with this uh, calculator each day? Yes, I checked a few days ago, but I didn't see many, many people that played with it because it is at the bottom of the page and I okay. saw that people are not scrolling until the bottom of the page. So there are not uh, a lot of uh, impressions on this. Mm -hmm. uh, this is a great tool that could help you to outline the problem. Mm -hmm. You have this, but um, I, I don't see the context. Okay. So uh, yeah. what I would suggest, uh, I would suggest you to create the context. Uh, mm -hmm. Something like on average, it takes up to 30 hours, 40 hours of work to build uh, a website with three pages or with five pages. I don't know. Okay. You have, yeah. most probably you have these numbers. Mm -hmm. uh, and this means, so let's say, uh, on, on average, it takes a developer, uh, okay, number, okay, a developer with, let's say, 45 hourly rate. Uh, I don't understand here. Okay, hourly rate. How many hours? Anyway, the, the tool is great. I, I would create the context here. I would create yeah, the context sense. and... Uh, give a reference. On average, it takes up to 30 hours to build a website with three pages. This costs mm -hmm. you, I don't know, $2,000. With Lupal, yeah. with Lupal, you save uh, $1,900. And in, yeah, in, in, in that situation, it's very clear for the people what's in it for them. This is, this is the benefit they have. You present uh, the features very good here, but I don't see uh, the benefits uh, outlined. I feel the need to understand the benefits. I'm not a technical uh, developer, I'm not a web developer, but for sure these guys, they, they need to see the features, but also to understand the benefits. This should be, uh, 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 this can help you to outline those benefits yeah, yeah. Yeah. for them. So, uh, in terms of benefits over features, the, the homepage lists numerous features like the, the number of components, the frameworks supported. Um, it's very important to mention all these features, but you also want to translate 
all of these features into tangible benefits for the user mm-hmm. Uh, and this this would be more compelling and uh, easier to understand for them. Um, I see go to builder, go to builder. I don't feel consistency in terms of call to action. Uh, you have uh, multiple call to actions on the page, starting with this one, create project, try demo, how it works. Here would be a good place for you to insert another call to action. You don't have it. Mm-hmm. Gain back time. In this section would be a good place again to start a call to action. You have view all components. Go to builder view details. You, you don't have a strong call to action and uh, an action oriented call to action. You need consistency in terms of call to action. You you, ha- you have your first call to action in the hero section, then you must have another two or at least three uh, action-oriented call to action in the home page. Something that, I don't know, start building now or try oh, now. Okay. So, so basically the, the same call to action in, uh, in different sections, right? Yes, the same call to action in different sections, but must be action oriented must uh, encourage yeah. people to do a specific action mm-hmm. build start, start building with local uh, start building now something that is action oriented and mm-hmm. would encourage them to to take action much faster um so as a, as a general idea uh, it's 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 pretty clear that you you offer this template builder for modern websites and dashboards, but uh, you need to highlight the benefits uh, the benefits throughout the page. Yep. Uh, you need to emphasize the benefits. So to consolidate the key benefits of using Loopal, you may use something like uh, rapid development or uh, flexibility and customization or instant prototyping or I don't know. 2x, 3x, 10x productivity, cost effective, mm-hmm. user friendly. You you need you need to to highlight the benefits also, not only the features. Uh, okay. I would also suggest increase the visibility of the testimonials um, and possibly to include more and diverse uh, testimonials, other case studies or a review. Uh, this helps you a lot to build the, the trust. And if you already mm-hmm. have them, why not using them? Yeah, so um, as a final idea, I would say that your homepage does a good job of introducing the product and the features, which is very important. And congratulations for this. I think you need to increase the clarity of your value proposition and to emphasize the benefits over features. Uh, mm-hmm. The homepage should um, effectively engage, and this can help you to uh, uh, effectively uh, engage and convert more visitors. This is my opinion. Also, you yeah, can try to, to move this this demo here on the on the hero section, and also you may try to. I would try to move this uh, this calculator uh, up. Okay, somewhere so, over here, somewhere over yeah, here, yeah. somewhere over here. So um, this uh, this would be at at a first glance. This would be at the first glance what we have here. Uh, a lot, a lot of features. A lot, a lot of features. You need more benefits. Yeah, so also the benefits should be added uh, on the landing page, right? Also, yes, maybe. yes, it's, yeah. it's, it's super important to have the benefits uh, mm-hmm. added added here on the on the landing page. You have the social proof, uh, 44,000 projects created, good, 52 million code lines exported, good, works with bootstrap, tailwinds, CSS and React. Okay, these are the, the, the programming languages that web developers are using to create websites. So you come yeah. with Lupal and uh, you... you uh, c- can you explain in terms of technical um, 
can you can you offer an ex, an, an explanation how exactly looper works from a technical point of view you add uh, you add the layer uh, after or, or above this bootstrap tailwind css and react and then offer the the web developers the possibility to yeah so basically this is how it works so you for example bootstrap and tailwind css are css frameworks that helps you uh, build faster this the design mm -hmm. so with loophole you don't have to code it from scratch so basically you have you see the sections for example you have a section with text uh, buttons and an image like uh, this one so you don't mm -hmm. have to to code uh, from the scratch so you drag it into the screen uh, with loop you can change the text maybe the colors of the, mm -hmm. of the buttons and so on maybe the image mm -hmm. and after that you download the code so if you uh, build it from scratch maybe it will take you one hour with loop it takes you like one minute to, to make a hero section <laughs> That, yeah. this, this is brilliant what you just said. Yeah. <laughs> with Lupol, you don't have to build it from scratch. If you yeah, code yeah. it, it will take you one hour. With Lupol, it will take you one minute. I don't see this on the website. <laughs> Why don't you yeah, put yeah, this yeah. on the website? <laughs> yeah, because yeah, it's super clear and super simple. Uh, this yeah. is this is a this is an example of benefit. Mm -hmm. You did yes. a great job. You did a great job presenting all the features, and it's very important. Now you need to present people the benefits. Yeah, yeah. I was this... also thinking about adding a section where in the left you code it from scratch and in the right you you build uh, like a section using Lupul so maybe the user can see clearly how, how fast it works. That would be great. That would be great. That would be great. Okay, so this, uh, this would be at the first glance the... Uh, the, uh, some some ideas on how to improve the message. Uh, what do you what do you think? What uh, it, yeah, it makes good. sense for you? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, it's, it's something to... useful that you can you can yes, apply. Yes, of course. All the details. So basically, I have to stay again on the on this recording and note all the details. So to to, to start making the changes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Uh, do you have other questions or i don't know it's, it's something that is unclear you want uh, to... no no everything is clear yeah everything okay. sounds good great great so ravish congratulations for uh for for, for what you for, for what you're doing i think it's Thank pretty you. cool uh, i know for sure uh that this type of website builders they they uh, they have a lot of traction they have more and more traction I mean the builders for the non-technical people, but I, I assume that it's the same thing for these builders that are uh, for designed for uh, technical people. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Because it, it it offers you the possibility to build the website very fast. So I see that there is a lot of potential for you building and growing this business. So I wish you the best of luck. Thank you. Thank you. I also wish for, you the best of luck for your time and for providing me all these uh, details. My pleasure. Uh, is there anything else you would like to add before we close the meeting? Uh, I don't have anything in mind right now. So. Okay. Uh, where can people find you? Uh, there will be people watching this uh, podcast. And where can they find you? How can they get in touch with you besides the, the website? Okay. So can, they can find me on LinkedIn uh, for... Uh, I don't know if they, if they want to talk with me one to one, mm -hmm. or maybe for Loopal, the the fastest uh, the faster uh, solution is Discord. So mm -hmm. there I'm also I'm all the time on Discord, and uh, there I'm also uh, there is also uh, the space where I can uh, answer the fastest. Yeah. So LinkedIn Discord. And, and Discord. LinkedIn and yep. Discord. Okay. Yeah. Great. Thank you very much for. Uh, for coming today. Uh, I Thank wish you. you the best of luck with Lupul and uh, have a wonderful day. Thank you, Daniel. Have a nice day. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Bye.